Well, you said it there, Will. There is another attempt today to bring out civilians from those steelworks, those underground bunkers in Mariupol that have been under very intense attack for weeks now. Uh, there's also at the same time an attempt today to evacuate civilians from other parts in the city. Civilians have been told if you can reach this one point near a mall or what was once a mall because it has now been destroyed by midday today, you should be able to join this convoy snaking its way out of the city. Now, we know that uh, hundreds of civilians, according to the Ukrainian government, about 500 civilians have made it out of Mariupol in the last week, and they've been recounting uh, stories of just how harrowing and difficult the situation is in those steelworks. There are reports that the soldiers there are, have infected wounds, that they are, some of them have even lost limbs, and that they are running desperately short of food, of water, and also of oxygen as well, because they are, of course, underground. Now, you mentioned that, uh, that, that there was that attempt at a ceasefire. Again, according to the Ukrainian government, that's the best source we have on this for the moment, um, we're hearing that actually Russian forces are still bombarding those steel works, particularly, as you say, with a view to um, that victory day on Monday, a key day for Russia, um, where we expect possibly that there may even be a parade of Russian soldiers inside Mariupol. Yeah, Nadia, you know, weeks ago, the Russian forces have left the Kiev region where you are to focus on the south and the east. What are some of the trends in uh, the, the fighting that you're seeing uh, th this Friday? The trend, I suppose, is that what's going on is that there's a focus on targeting uh, civilian infrastructure to make life more difficult for civilians, targeting the water networks, targeting the electricity networks, but also targeting the railway lines that are bringing in these munitions coming from Western countries to the east of Ukraine. Uh, also, obviously, an attempt to target the Ukrainian army itself. Today, we're hearing from a the Russian government that in Kramatorsk, a city in the east, they hit and destroyed a uh, ammunition depot there. They say they also did the same thing in another city, Mykolaiv, uh, yesterday. Um, they're also claiming that they've shot down two Ukrainian uh, warplanes in the Luhansk region. Now, on all of those issues, it is hard to confirm because, as I said, we're here in Kyiv. We can only take what we hear from the Russian side and from the Ukrainian side. I can tell you, though, here in the capital, um, things appear relatively normal, although the air raid sirens do wail out uh, several times a day. All right, Nadia, thank you very much. Nadia Massey reporting from Kyiv.